Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to share with you one of our family's favorite side dishes. It's a staple in any typical Korean household, and it's a great way to get dark leafy greens into your diet. Today I'm going to share with you how to make my version of shikimchi namul. First, you're going to want to get a big pot ready with water. Turn the stove on high heat. I put in a sprinkle of sea salt, and this is a little trick to make your green vegetables even brighter and greener in color. Next, we're going to prep and wash the spinach. Please don't use baby spinach. You want to use fully grown spinach with the stems to really get that authentic taste. Before I wash the spinach, I like to cut the roots off first as there's some dirt at the bottom that can be hard to get out. I always have a spray bottle with vinegar in my sink, not only to clean kitchen surfaces, but also to wash fruits and vegetables. The vinegar is supposed to help get rid of any bacteria and pesticides left over. All you have to do is simply spritz the vinegar all over and let it sit for a minute or two, then rinse with cold water. Once drained, we're going to put all the spinach into the boiling water and cook it for 40 seconds. This cooking process is called blanching, where you're just briefly letting it cook in boiling water. You really want to maintain the crispiness of the spinach and not let it get too mushy. So timing is key. So make sure you set a timer. Then we're going to pour everything into a big strainer and rinse with cold water. Then I'm going to bunch everything together and just gently squeeze out the excess water. Then I like to compress it gently into a little ball, then cut a couple times through the middle. I like to make a cross. Next, we're going to put in the seasoning which is a half a tablespoon of minced garlic, one tablespoon of sesame seed oil, one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of chopped green onions, and a teaspoon of sesame seeds. Then just gently mix everything together with clean hands and make sure the flavor is evenly distributed throughout. And that is it. It's so simple. Like any dish, it's best when it's served right away, but you can certainly store it in the fridge for about three days. Today though, I'm gonna just go ahead and eat it now. And for those of you interested, the recipe to this is in the description box. And if you enjoy my Korean cooking videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so you can stay tuned for more healthy Korean recipes. Have yourselves an amazing day. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Annyeong!